move, look forward and look ahead um, right. to some degree. And it's obviously led me to many different industries, many different trades. Um, you're probably not even aware of. I've, I've done many different things. I've changed. No, my this mind. is. I, I only knew that you were a plumber or an apprentice plumber. That's all I knew. Yes, but, is that right? I mean, that, is that right? That, definitely, that comes down to you know mindset on myself. I never lose the chance to to inspire people because I think it's it's important to help each other to develop and to understand that this is the only life that we can live. If we waste it into a negative mindset, it's a wasted lifetime. And, uh, yes, so I grew up with baking too, not much, uh, but definitely food in general, without a doubt. Oh my goodness, Sundays were a feast. Every oh, yeah. Sunday were a feast. And I'm, and I'm sad that I can't portray that with my children because now the time are changing. There's not much time to spend on the table anymore. It's they don't care. It's different. No, yeah. they just, I remember I enjoyed it, sitting at the table. My mom keep bringing food, keep bringing <laughs> food, keep bringing food. I loved it and I missed that. Has it changed your life, baking, like in a way of, do you need to organize it or is something that you implemented now in your current lifestyle? Uh, a little bit of both. Okay. So the one of the best things I think about sourdough is that it is flexible. Yeah. I can work it around um, my lifestyle and, right. and what I need to do. Um, for instance, I like when I make sourdough, I probably have a, an eight hour window where yeah. I like to do five folds uh, and a pre-shape mm -hmm. and then a final shape. Mm -hmm. ask you how do you use these botanical blends so you let them dry you let them sink together and then I you meal always, it i don't always dry them there's some pulses in here as well you can see kind of these are the very little blue see these have, have got lots of anthocyanins in and your gut microbes love anthocyanins look at that okay yeah that blue on my dress yeah. roses here are look roses in uh, so, i think that's so, so clever if you, if you take a look no, can you see the mill behind me? Of course, of course, beautiful okay. mock mill. I was listening to a cardiologist yesterday who, um, who's, who's, whose work is, is, is very interesting. He's looking at the gut and how the gut is affecting inf inf inflammation in the heart. I've been talking to uh, various people who are involved with uh, researching Alzheimer's. Um, I was talking to Tim Spector the other day and he was saying that in his mind there is no doubt that there is a connection between an inflamed gut, gut dysbiosis and Alzheimer's which I think I, I'm right in saying is the second biggest killer in, in, of women in, in the UK. I believe that fibre or lack of fibre is one of the major contributing factors for bowel cancer which is our fourth biggest killer in the UK. And and stuff. How, how, is, uh, how are you there? How are you living this time in Sorrento? Uh, based on this pandemic that we're experiencing? Yeah. Yes, of course. I, look, as I mentioned before, it depends on your perception, but for me, it's been one of the most positive things or one of the, one of the, the greatest things that's happened to me personally and you know, even to the family. Um, obviously, business-wise, no, of course. However, you know, through what's happened, we've learned a different sector of the business. Yeah. Um, but going back to why it's been a great thing that's happened to me and the families, because, you know, we've really been able to spend time with one another. We've been able to discover ourselves, more importantly, you know, through doing hobbies or through doing things that we never knew we enjoyed doing. Yeah. Um, you know, really working on those relationships, whether it's relationships with a loved one or with its family or peers that we generally wouldn't you know, develop or wouldn't spend time on because we're so engrossed and focused um, on, you know, our daily operations and sometimes we lose that. So we, in some degree, it, it's been real positive and even another one to touch on business. Um, it's been great also, for example, for, I've learned through interviews, 
um, you know, I never used to once upon a time do interviews on Zoom chat. Yeah. Um, it's something that was very foreign to me. It was always face to face. And yeah. not to say face to face isn't important, but it's something that I realized that, you know, through video chat and through technology, I'm able to engage on a, an interview. So, and it can be a successful interview, which, which I've had happen. So that's been something that's been amazing. Uh, there's a book that I would like to suggest. To, that I would like yes. to suggest to you, which is Principles from Ray Dalio, which is the yes. owner of the Bridgewater Edge Funds in America, and uh, he decided recently, to, of course, to retire and to write down all the principles that he's written about life and business. Yes, you I've actually that. got that book. Oh, you I do? Oh, you need to read it now. That's a wonderful Sorry. book. It's a very long book. But as you as you say i think the the quote you said when when was it when the teachers when the student is ready the teacher appears yeah so i've had that book and i purchased it a long time ago but yeah. i haven't read it because i haven't been drawn to it yeah or i haven't course. felt like it's been my calling to read it yeah. um and that's happened with many books and when i feel like it right, uh, yeah yeah I read it and I, oh, that book I bought three years ago, it's time for me to read it now. So I feel like this could be the calling to me to read it. <laughs> probably, probably. It is nothing happens for mistake, man. Because the more time you can put into something, chances are the results will be better and you're going to enjoy it a it's lot. It's very more. simple. It's very simple. That's a rule of life. Without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Without yeah. a doubt. I'm glad that so, you said that. Yeah. You know, Guys, just follow your dreams. Follow what you like, do what you like. You'll see, that's the answer. Why do we need to live a life doing something that we don't like? Exactly. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Life is one, the one that you're living now that you can experience. You won't be able to experience the, the next one now or the past one. That's the only life that you want. And on this note, I love what Gary Vee says a lot. He says, you need to become self-aware. You need to be able to communicate to the people that you think are the people that are stopping you from achieving what you want or doing what you want that you like, just because of your, you are afraid of the thoughts that they produce. That's right. What they're thinking about you. And uh, yeah, you need to become self-aware. When So let's say you are at the top of the chain okay of the pyramid and you of course are a leader and not a boss i can tell and i knew that already when i met you what is the thing that you will like the people that work with you to take away with them once they leave the place they work something, with you? sorry cut out there's something that i would like people to take away yeah exactly from you that they can learn from you what would you like to share? What would you like them to, to embrace that they can learn from you? If there is something that you think you're very good at into spreading into society, what what is that? Something that I find that I'm good with, um, or even through working with people yeah. to, to take away with, um, would definitely be, you know, communication mm -hmm. is definitely something that's very important. Um, and would definitely be to, you know, have that, communication to pursue or to have that communication to you know push for that next position um but something for example for me i i like self-growth i like personal growth i like yeah. development um and i am a big believer that even through the employees i don't like to you know disallow or stop that growth um, I'm all about self-growth, I'm all about self-development and whether it's an employee wanting to potentially move to a new position, um, whether it's a potential employee who wants to or an employee that wants to move to a different company, yeah. I'm all about encouraging that and that is encouraged through communication. That's yeah. something for me, you know, I'm, you know, in the past I've had an employee who's wanted to join the real estate industry mm -hmm. and I was all through, I was more than happy, I actually put them in contact with a, a local real estate agent um, okay. well done. who who actually you know was able to help that person because for me that's something that's very important why should someone remain or do something that they want to do every day or something that they feel they want to do every day unhappy happiness is, is key so i guess also in entwining with the communication is probably happiness something mm -hmm. that they can take away from happiness is, is very important for me uh -huh. i want that person to be happy with whatever they're doing if they're not how can we change it if it's 
I want to work as a real estate agent, for example, let's make it happen by all means, because truly if we're not happy and we're not fulfilling our happiness, then, you know, what are we doing? Oh, I completely agree.